oven? No. No, I did not. Win. But I gotta use the bathroom though, so. Actually, you know what? Healing went away. That's strange. But I am. I'm my, my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for run when I tell a bit piece. All right, it is an incredibly windy day today. I actually misjudged how windy it was and I decided to ride my longboard in this wind. Man, it's a lot harder than those people make it out to be. Like when you're going against the wind and you're like, Ugh! and you're pushing, I'm pushing like as hard as I can and literally I'm not moving anywhere. I'm just like, bruh. So in the last, last vlog, I kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger. We got tested for COVID and boy, do I got a story and a half for you guys. First things first, I just got to say that both Llama and I, we tested negative. So that's extremely good. I mean, I wasn't worried, honestly. I knew that we both were gonna test negative. But now that I tested negative, I can actually go back to work, which is awesome because, you know, we need money and not working, the both of us, it's kind of hard. So we get to the place. It's like a, a big sports park, right? You're supposed to drive through and whatnot. So red flag number one, we pull up to the park. The signs clearly say, do not get out of car. Do not roll your window down. And we pull up to the entrance of the place and the guy, the first thing he does is like, and I'm like, whoa, there's a giant sign next to you. Am I supposed to obey the sign or am I supposed to obey you? So we roll our window down. He's just like, yeah, yeah, follow the path, go around. It's in the white tents on the other side. I'm like, all right, easy enough. It was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a quick, you know, whoop, ba -ba, in and out. No, it wasn't like that. You have to get all your information, which makes sense, you know. I thought they would be like, oh, just take my ID. But, oh, duh. You know, they don't want to touch anything if you're getting tested for COVID. After they took our information, they were like, all right, head down to tent number eight. So what they do is they put the, the testing, all the information on your windshield in the windshield wiper so that you can drive. They don't have to hand it to you. There's no touching process going on. We go to tent number eight and the girl, all she does is pick it up, confirm our names, put it back and she's like, all right, go to the next tent. And we're just like, uh, okay, which is smart. Or you don't want to send the test to the wrong person. So we get to the final tent. This is definitely the tent where they're doing the testing. So we pull up and there's nurses all around us. They're not coming near the car but you see a couple of them, they're just like sitting there like, oh, here we go again. They start putting on their coats and like their gloves and whatnot. They walk up to the car, we wind our windows down. They tell us to turn off our car, so we turn off our car. My windows wind down, Llama's windows wind down. One person goes up to her side, one person goes up to my side. You know, I got my mask on, I'm just like, I'm like this. Stare at the front, straight ahead. You know, I didn't want to make eye contact, didn't want anything to be weird. You know what I'm saying? I get there and she's like, all right, so you know the deal, you know how this goes, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I know I've seen tons of videos, you know, people getting tested and whatnot. So of course I have an idea about how it's gonna go. So I'm like, lay it on me. She's like, all right, stick your tongue out. I'm like, uh, what? Wait, what do you mean stick my tongue out? What, what are you saying? Now you just, don't you just shove it up my nose? And she's like, oh no, no, no. We're not doing the nasal swabs. We're doing the oral swab. And I'm like, excuse me, oral swab? What, what the hell is that? And I, I look over to where Llama is like doing her test and I see her mouth open, tongue out. The stick that they're gonna shove in your mouth is like that long. She's tilted her head back, her tongue is sticking out. The lady is in, like she is in there swabbing in a circular motion, wah, 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 like that. And I'm like, oh hell no. Nah. I look back at the chick and she's like, yeah, just, just stick your tongue out and we're gonna go in. I'm like, listen, I got a gag reflex and it's pretty serious. As soon as I say that, all the nurses that were on my side get up. Like they've not seen action in like five days. They're like, oh, here we go. Nurse gonna get thrown up on, let's go, baby. They all stood up, they all stood behind her. And she's like, oh, geez, like a gag reflex? I'm like, yeah, I, I got a gag reflex. Like it's natural, right? Meanwhile, Lamo's over there like a pro. She's like doing circular motions in the back of her throat. I'm just like, bruh. What about the people with the gag reflexes? Ah, that was just a joke. Lama has a tiny gag reflex, but it's not as serious as mine. Like when I brush my tongue, I start gagging. I stick my tongue out and she goes in. Like I can feel it. It and I, I kind of jerk back and I'm like, listen, don't touch the uvula, son. You touch the uvula and you're gonna get thrown up all over. 
Trust me. She goes in, she like touches the back of my tongue, like barely. She starts to swap and I'm like, ugh, ugh. Like instantly, as soon as it touched my tongue, I ugh, ugh, like right away. I didn't throw up, but I started gagging. Cause you know, I'm not used to things touching the back of my throat. It's just not a, uh, a normal thing for me, you know? Maybe for CJ or something that that's normal, but for me, that is 100% not normal. And she like instantly, like she, she pulls away, she's like, okay, that's it, that's all we need to do, as long as it gets to the back and, and like swabs. And I'm like, so that's it, good to go? And she's like, yep, goodbye. Like it, it happened so fast. It was such a long buildup to get to the actual test itself, but the test went by really, really fast. So after she swabbed, she instantly put it in the thing, and she's like, all right, you're good to go, bye. Like, I was like some used condom or something she just used and threw on the side of the road and was just like, get going, you're gone, you're done, we don't need you anymore. What, you don't wanna buy me a steak dinner or something? You just stuck something down my throat. It was a very interesting experience and uh, just so you guys know, if you didn't know already, there is a nasal one and a throat one. Make sure you know which one you're doing so you can prepare properly because beforehand, I was like blowing my nose, you know, cleaning it out, make sure there are no boogies or anything, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want her to swab. She comes out and there's like wads of boogers, so I clean my nose and everything, but I ain't clean my throat! Anyway, so both Lam and I have tested negative and I went back to work yesterday. I'm going to work again today. And yeah, I just wanted to, re-update you guys on that because I kind of left you like, oh my God, we're getting tested for COVID. No, we're good. We tested negative. It's fine. Yeah, guys, stay safe out there.